Lawmakers in Korea today passed the Rivers Act revision responding to the recent catastrophic flooding and landslides following unusually heavy monsoon rains. This will allow money from the state coffers to be used for flood prevention measures. Kim jong sil reports. I declare that the amendment has been passed. A revision to the Rivers Act intended to support the implementation of anti-flooding measures was passed by the National Assembly with 249 votes in favor out of the 250 lawmakers present. The bill was passed in the plenary session with an overwhelming approval rate regardless of political party. The swift decision came after about two weeks since catastrophic flooding and landslides in central South Korea resulted in 47 deaths and ruined people's livelihoods. The Rivers Act revision has drawn a lot of attention after 14 people died when a river burst its banks due to heavy rain and flooded an underpass in Osong in a matter of minutes. The amendment allows the state to provide financial support for the maintenance of designated regional rivers currently conducted by local governments whose water levels may change due to potential flooding downstream by rivers maintained by the state. Until now, local governments were responsible for the maintenance of regional rivers, and this was not funded by the national government. As a result, local governments experienced budgetary problems in maintaining regional rivers, making it difficult for necessary repairs for the rivers. The parliament also passed revisions to water system management and support for residents near the Kumgang, Nakdonggang, Yongsanggang, Samjinggang rivers. With the revisions, setting the legal framework for water-related disasters such as droughts and floods, these residents can use money from the water system management budget for disaster prevention measures. The revised law will be enacted as soon as the government publishes it in its gazette. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.